Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. It is a Saturday morning, and uh, me and Jolene are going to go for a drive to town. Uh, we might stop into a local car show. And uh, when I get up in the morning, I always want my coffee, or Jolene wants her coffee. And I'm figuring the 38 Chevy's feeling the same way. So we're going to give it a couple drinks of coffee, and then we're going to head on its way. We're going to get on its way. With these old cars, uh, it's, what can I say? It's just, it's just the right thing to do, to check everything. With the cars nowadays, um, I don't think many people check anything, or I don't. But uh, I'm going to give her some coffee. Make it. Jolene's mother gives me these cups, and uh, it's mostly appreciated. She washes them, cleans them, and uh, I use them for a little bit of everything. Get a little bit more in there. We've been we've been running this car up and down the highway. And uh, it really has been, it's been working really good, this car has. Um, it's, it's quite enjoyable to drive. And the reason being is, we're not in a rush. Um, we're not going, we're doing what, 40 miles an hour tops. So that would be our legal limit here. I'm just gonna pull that dipstick out and see where we're to. We're pretty close. I would say one more and we, we'll have her. That's why I bring two cups of coffee. I am using, I think it's Rotella. It's a, it's the oil for a diesel. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm thinking that that is what this engine would like. I think it's a 1540, I think. Rotella. And uh, it has, I guess, all the ingredients for the camshaft and the lifters and all that stuff. And who honestly really knows? I don't make it, so I really don't know, but it is the thicker oil. Yeah, on the new truck, on our Suburban, it tells you when to get your oil changed. It's at 57%. Then you know you only got half its life left. On these ones here, I guess, um, you either change it or just keep adding. We went to town last night in it, and uh, we had a nice little trip to town. Made Jolene happy. She, she picked herself up a couple things. Jolene's a, a fan of Kate Moss, and she picked up a cool picture of her falling down the steps. <laughs> I'm not sure she's falling down the steps or what. I think it was a uh, uh, sponsored by Johnny Depp. <laughs> not not true. I'm spreading lies. But uh, she picked up a cool picture. She bought me some new some new uh, sneaks. Some new Chuck Taylors. So hoods down. Uh, Fina's going to stay home because we don't want to leave her in the in the car for the heat because we might stop at the car show, but you can see her at the window. She's saying, Dad, I want to go. I want to go. Dad, I want to go. But uh, the best thing to do is just leave. Nope, I'm not playing camera time if you're not going to take me. <laughs> but best thing to do is just leave her in the house. Everything's good that way. I have to run back up and close the shop up. That'd probably be the best thing to do. If you've got no, no comments or no, uh, no, no suggestions or anything, just comment on if you like my yellow hat or not. <laughs> I got it cheap. I like it. I'm wearing it. Matches my sneaks too. Notice the yep. Chuck Taylors. Oh. 
All right. I generally pull out the choke first thing in the morning. Key. Oh, better turn the key on, hadn't I? Thanks, baby. No it starts better when the key's on. <laughs> Probably loving that oil. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just like how we like our coffee. Yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty good car, this has. Joey said leave it alone. <laughs> and what she means by that is they're not touching it. <laughs> so you're not the only one guys that think that, you know, I shouldn't touch things. Joey says leave it alone. Just for now. Huh? Just for now. Just for now. Different time right here. You're driving around these old wood cars, huh? Different time. Ready? We're gonna take you for a little drive. Let's do it. I find the old car when it first takes off. Takes off. It's, it sounds a lot like a like a tractor, and uh, we're probably not far off. So I'm gonna take you to. A beach that's close by our house we don't go there much but uh, it's probably one of the the better beaches you can go to right close to where we live I live I live I grew up close to a beach but this is probably one of the better ones just because of less rock and that sort of stuff this house right here um, it looks like a house and it is a house but uh, that place is a fine dining and it seems to me like it's sold out is it not yes yeah, um, and that house right there is exactly as far as I can throw a rock from our place but it is something that you would never think uh, it's a place that you fine dine and uh, I think it's it's booked up for quite a long time uh, if you can get in there you should try it and that's just minute not minutes uh, rock chuck away thinking I was going to shove the car in another gear. Get over you, Sid. Your window up all the way, sweetheart? Yeah. I can hear it. Oh. it. oh, okay. There we go. bit of a howl somewhere on the car so uh, when Nate comes in sometime give me a hand I'll uh, get him to check things over whether it's a wheel bearing or a you know a dry transmission to a dry rear end who knows there's probably something that's probably not got its fluids not that Jolie's car had any <laughs> <laughs> These old cars want to be stopped before they win first gear, that's for sure. You can gear it down a second, no problem, but... Jolene, did your grandmother go to school there? Yeah. Jolene's grandmother went to school there. It looks a little bit of abandoned right now. So we are going down into Blomadin. And Blomadin is a very scenic route there's probably famous pictures of it and everything if you looked on the internet Blomadin there's a campsite there and it's probably just a little piece of heaven been to quite a few weddings at this church So we're always thinking, you know, how beautiful 
other places are in the world when you go there. Wow, it's beautiful. Well, right in our back door yard, the house seems to get worse, doesn't it? But this is a little piece of where we live. up here on the right is called Rand's Land and uh, from what I understand it, it could be true or not true they supply Sobeys with the broccoli they have the broccoli contract that supplies your Sobe so if you have Rand's Land a broccoli and you bought it Sobeys Sobeys am I right um, you'd, you'd have got it from that farm right there I understand uh, there's lots of horses down around here, horse people. You know what I always took from horses that they shit work and eat money. We're coming into our, I don't know, our wharf. We have a wharf that's close by here uh, for the fishermen. Uh, I would say they probably fish lobster, flounder, cod. That sort of stuff. Another water opening. Next one we get to, there's a famous picture there of that piece of dirt out in the in the water. From what I understand we may have the highest tides in the world. So what that means is where that water comes to that bank, it'll rise the highest in the world. So I'm thinking it's somewhere around 50 feet. We have our local boating community. I probably know a few people here. Probably no doubt in my mind. And the reason being is I grew up here and I've been to this wharf many times. Uh, yeah. But I know that guy right there. That's Evan Blennis. Hmm. Must be getting on his cruise boat. He's a local contractor I've known all my life. Um, that little that little piece of land right out there with a hole in it. It's probably a... That's Ed Bennett's dog, I think. Look, looks exactly like Ed Bennett's dog. Little blue here, little red one there. some houses out there for the view. I'm thinking that the people that um, build those houses way out there on the end um, for a view are people that are not from here. And the reason being is um, people that live here understand or think of um, the, the erosion of the land. So where that house is, I'm not sure what it looks like on the front of it, but there would be an erosion there every year. And uh, it eats it back, it eats it back, it eats it back. And uh, that sort of stuff happens. So it looks like high tide's coming in, so the boats are going to be able to get out and uh, do their thing. We are driving a 1938 Chevy two-door I don't know if it's a master. Yeah, it's a master of the Two-door master. Joni's looking as, absolutely as gorgeous today as any other day. We have another little opening here. There's also an, another wharf up in here. It's kind of closed in behind a couple of houses where they have their own wharf, which is pretty cool. There's some beautiful homes up through here. Some beautiful homes. You can 
get much closer to the water than that. You know, when we go somewhere else and then we think that's pretty. Well, we've got our own pretty. Sometimes we just put our blinders on and we don't see it. Welcome to Blomadin. Now you can take this road right up to the, the end of what you see as the trees. You can take it all the way up there if you like. But I said I was going to take you to Houston's Beach and that's where I'm going to take you. This be a nice drive for a supercar, Jolie. Yeah, it would actually. You got one? <laughs> Somewhere. Never been to this beach, she says, and she's we're what? Are we five minutes away? Ten minutes away? Uh, timer says ten minutes. Hold on, I'm gonna go <laughs> there. Nice little dirt road. And where can you go and find a nice little dirt road these days, huh? <laughs> these cars actually, I find they they give you the best ride on a dirt road. And this car right here, I'm not really too worried about getting dirty. be a place that a lot of people will come uh, to let off their dory, small boat, fishing boat, and they'll go out and do some floundering. Uh, I'm not quite sure the months, any month without air in it, I think. Something that sound right? I don't know. Something like that. But uh, a lot of people will go flounder fishing off here. It's just a nice flat spot. In Kingsport, where I grew up, uh, the, the, the beach has quite a few rocks. And you know, just as well as I do, walking over rocks with bare feet sometimes isn't the best. Happy to see an old car. <laughs> uh, basically, that's all you can call a say, isn't it? You see an old car? Well, a lot more people have found the beach than, than I figured that new. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be not many people here, but... These guys know all about the beach. they got campers and everything. We're just going to pull up and take a look for a second. I pulled her on the beach, but I'm afraid I get stuck. <laughs> So this is a nice little beach. It runs all the way down along this way. And it runs around that way a little bit, but it's just a nice flat little beach. Uh, obviously, so people can get their boat off and go fishing if they want to. And you can see how the bank is, is kind of straight up and down. So that means, you know, it's sort of telling you that it's eroding. Like it's so, it's got a, a nice fresh color to it, so. Across the water would be a, called a town called Woofle. That's where our university is. Uh, that university would be called Cadia. A lot of people enjoy that university. I've never had the chance. Um, didn't make it through school. <laughs> Jolene went once, I guess. You were on their soccer team, were you not, Sweetheart? Yeah, for a couple of years when I transferred. the mountain, but it's 
actually called, it's a hill actually. I think it's only 600 feet. The mountain has to be so many feet, I'm thinking. Did you want to go any further? Um, only 10 minutes away from home. Yeah. Where else can we go? Kingsport Beach? Or? No, 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 no. I just no. want to go drive up a little bit further. Oh, okay. I haven't been up here for quite a long time. How far is Blomidon? What's this here? How far is Blomidon? Probably another 10 minutes or so. Yeah! <laughs> so the light driving up here very didn't I? Yeah. Just not ones with big holes in them. Felt like we were on a horse. Evan Blennis, uh, I was at the wharf, doing him all my life, and I see his father's house, Donnie Blennis, right up there at the top with the big windows. I'm not sure if he lives there anymore or not. Not sure. And we have some tourists, and they're going to get behind us and they're going to say, "Darn." They're from Virginia. From Virginia. Huh? Virginia. Your license plates. Huh? Probably saying I haven't seen in 1938 for so long. <laughs> we're climbing the hill right now. We're in second gear, steadily mounting the hill. Probably a poor way to put it, but. Sound what a cow makes. What? Do you know people? Yeah. Why? I just thought of it because I seen the cows. Oh. This would you? Huh? Now, if I was on the Pacific Coast Highway, I'd be saying, "Wow, wow!" You know what I mean? But uh, this is right in our back door yard. down in there I think. We're not going there but there is a little wharf down there. High school friend lives in there. This is 10 minutes from the house. I know of quite a few people down this way. I've been here most of my life, so this isn't far away. Most of the people that are my age that live down here, we all went to school together. All right, would you? Huh? Anybody want to go mudsliding? Nice little Ford. Oh, must be a wow! Must be a wedding today. Cool. That's cool. That'd be the Woolvers. No, second hand Woolvers. Uh, McBrides. I'm thinking that's the McBrides. Good day for it. Yeah. I wish them the best. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I wish them the best. Man, this is quite nice, you know. This is five minutes from the house, and, and uh, to, to do this is, instead of rolling around the grave floor for <laughs> yeah. 
this is quite nice. I, I, quite, I, I quite like this. Yeah, this is very, very not very far away from our, our, our town of Canning, like you're 10, 15 minutes away from the town of Canning. So the people that live here have, you know, availability to a grocery store, a liquor store. Um, everybody waves. I bet you this guy will wave. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh, just wants a look. <laughs> I tried to get him to wave. No way for you. Huh? No way for you. On the way back. Yeah. Up the hall. Oh, we're on the right side of the road. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. That hill now, would you? That reminds me of a John Wayne movie. Huh? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Yeah. A wheel baron or something's getting talking to me or something's. Oh, I okay. Hopefully we can get it fixed. Gorgeous. You find that right here in Nova Scotia. Um, we could drive all over Nova Scotia and you'll get a lot of this scenery. And the reason being is we are a peninsula. So we're we're surrounded by three bodies of water. Or not say three bodies of water. We're surrounded by three sides of water. And we have, that's what, you know, it doesn't look exactly like this through the whole coast of Nova Scotia, obviously. But uh, this is one of the coasts of Nova Scotia. Five, ten minutes away from home. So there is a park here. People that want to come to, look at this now, way. Eh? Don't even realize it, all these people here. Yeah. At There's the park. A beach down there. You can just the campgrounds up there, isn't there? Campgrounds, you just follow that van, you can go up to the campground. There's a big hiking trail here, yep. too. Do you want to walk down the beach? Well, I want to walk down the beach. I'm not sure if I want to walk down the beach or just drive back. Do you want to walk on the beach? It's fine. Let's get down. Let's take a walk. I'm going to park this bad boy. We're going to park this bad boy. Right there. She looked at me, boys. She looked at me and said, I want to go to the beach. So you know what I do? You know what I'm doing? I'm putting her in reverse and I'm pouring <laughs> her and take her to the beach. I can't always be thinking about wrenches and, and body filling and, and welding marks and grinders and that sort of stuff, you know what I'm trying to tell you. And it's getting pretty warm in here. And she said she's getting warm. Yep. I know it's because she's around me, but. Guess we're taking you all to the beach, man. <laughs> Let's go this way. Just because there's a, a jump off there. I'm really not that romantic, boys. So <laughs> look at that now. We just a trail over there. Where? Come over here for a sec. You can see them. They were hiking over there, walking a the trail. I think there's a fence there or something. You can. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Trails right down over there, maybe I'll get you to go first. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? I've never got out of the car and went down to the fence. Never. Really? Never. I've actually been to this one. Have you? Yeah. I've never I've never went to the fence. Lived here all my life. Ten minutes, twenty minutes away. And uh, never been to the fence. Always just drove by. Huh. There's quite a set of stairs. Quite a set of stairs. <laughs> Maybe we should count them. Lovely day. Beautiful yes. day. Awesome. Enjoy. Yeah, you too. Do we want to go down? Are we going? No, yeah, we may as well. Here we go, boys. A nice romantic walk with Man <laughs> Chad and Queen Julie. 
And I got my hat from uh, Curious George. Yeah. The trainer. I'm the trainer. <laughs> Here we go. I've never been down to this beach. Mm -hmm. Hard to believe, eh? It's hard to believe. Hard to believe. Wow, well, that's a view over here. Huh? A little touch of paradise. Hey? Yeah. A little touch of paradise. this. I remember a fence like that at, uh, what was that, that place we went to? Remember that fence they had? People were sitting on it. Oh, was it a the cartoon? big hole in the ground. Oh, the Hoover Dam? No, the other place. Uh. I didn't know they had this down here. Not at all. Wow. Oh, wasn't that something now? Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? it is amazing. Yeah. It is. How you doing, man? Nice to see you, buddy. You're doing great nice stuff. Nice to meet you. Cool. Doing, awesome. <laughs> Look at that. All the way from nowhere in this. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. um, see this little waterfall here? No. Oh. That water, like, see yeah. that water rushing down there? See, I, I'd set myself up a, a wheel and I'd get some electricity out of it, some power. You know what I mean? Somebody mm -hmm. must live up there where that water's coming from. If they can catch it before it go down here. So how often do you get over here? <laughs> First time I've been here in my life. Me too. I'm from Wolfville. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, we live in Hansport. Yeah, it's like we live right across there. We thought we'd come over here and see yeah. what it looks like from here because we're always looking over here. Right. But we've never looked back, right? It's crazy. crazy. We're just trying to get out a little bit and see Nova Scotia because we go other places and we, we don't even know what we have here. Thing. Yeah. 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 And they got a cement slab and everything. Like, yeah. wow, crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out and be a tourist in your own town. Right? Yeah, for sure. There you go, honey. There's another little fall. That's crazy, eh? Another little fall over there, eh? Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See, Houston's beach doesn't have have the rocks. See what, what's going on with the rocks? Yeah. See the rocks? Yeah. Houston's Beach doesn't have that. They have the, like, a, like a shale. You can see how far the water went up on the side of the dirt on the side where it's wet. You can see that how far it was up there. Mm -hmm. And you know it's basically uh, this is the out perimeter of Nova Scotia what you're seeing along here. Uh, camping is up on the hill. Ready, sweetheart? Yeah. Pretty cool, eh? It is. Pretty. I'm not bringing you down here in a bikini. <laughs> cool. Uh -huh. That was worth it. Well, it was, wasn't it? Now, give me the camera I'm going to put it on you. <laughs> See that? Oh, hey, the tide is up high. Be careful. <laughs> Uh, huh? Yeah, oh, and if nothing else is get you back in shape walking back up. Yeah. Do that five times. Huh? <laughs> it's just a good life thing. <laughs> you guys have that old car out there? We do. Oh, beauty. oh awesome. Thank you. You'll have to get yourself one. Cool. How you doing, young man? Good. Let's go over where it says danger. <laughs> Yeah. 
So, that's where you would go mudsliding. Is that it? No. Oh. I'm talking about it's, it's down over. Okay. Jolene asked me if it is it. She, would you get on with me, sweetheart? No. Oh, look at that now, would you? No. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> well, it's something I never expected to see, <laughs> and you're not going to know what it is. Hee <laughs> hee. Family show. What's that, sweetheart? This is a family show. <laughs> a day at the beach. <laughs> Damn it. Now, this is the thing when you get somewheres and you get a six volt, six cylinder Chevy, six volt means not 12 volt, half the power, and then you go for a drive, and when you get back, and you always, there's always a wonder, is it going to start, right? But I don't jinx myself. Having, having this old car here with all the people that are here, I bet you we could have made a lot of friends just by talking to them and um, them being happy to see an old car. Come on, girl. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> don't let me down. I bought a, or me and Jolene bought a 19, I think it's a 48 Cadillac uh, Flathead V8 a while back. Camping on just right there. So you can't turn the camera that fast. It just wouldn't be good on your neck. But we bought a a flathead eight-cylinder Cadillac engine, and um, it didn't have many miles on it. And I keep thinking, wouldn't that work good in this? You know, the old six-cylinder works good in it, but with the with the 48 flathead Cadillac engine in this, leave it kind of leave it just the way it is. But get that engine put in this, I think it would be a lot, a lot of fun. Not sure if this house here, this house is new and it's different. It's a piece of art, and the reason being is, you know, why is the roof crooked? Why is the windows like that? What's the siding on? You know what I mean? Like so, it makes you think, makes you ask questions. You know, um, to look at it and say, I don't like that or I love it. Um, have to look at it and just admire it for a little bit to see what it is. You know, the roof crooked on it, the, the siding was different on it, the windows were oddly played, you know, it's kind of, yeah, bizarre. Yeah. So this is a big farming community, obviously. Potatoes, Cabbage, wood. You know, I know you don't eat wood, but you're still farming. Come on, baby. Cattle, strawberries. houses up in there you, you never get to see in the world unless you went up the driveway. Hold on baby.
with everything. if we're going to make it. <laughs> Seems like uh, when you go down the hill. Yeah, something's not got oil or grease in it. It's not full-time howling, but it's not what I want to hear. Chicken bar. You have a lot of chicken bars down here that would be the the fullers. We've got a great big chicken barn on this side. Just gonna swing that camera as long as chicken barn on that side. Got probably one of the best views in the world. Yeah. They can't they haven't even got any windows. Yeah. Alright. Roads are, you know, to be desired for. They're good for getting you places, but they're not probably where you want to drive your supercar. Take the farm, I would say. This is the gully where this is Houston's Beach. That's where they're all out there having fun, getting tanned. No doubt, maybe a brewski or two. just went up the hill now we're coming back down the hill and if you drive we, we did the uh, Pacific Coast Highway one time and we got almost to the end and they said you had to turn around because there was a roadblock or something had some falling rocks or something like that and I was quite upset at first we had drove probably two or three hours or maybe longer than that and I was kind of upset. And uh, when we drove back, my I, I wasn't upset when I started coming back. Like it took me, it took me a little bit, half hour, I'll say, or 20 minutes. But coming back the other way, did you ever get to see something else? It was kind of, I, I think it was meant to be. We got to go one way, to the Pacific Coast Highway, and then we had to drive the other way. There's two different views going on uh, when you're driving one way and the other way. And uh, this is this is the other way. And look at that now, would you? What more would you want to see than that when you wake up in the morning? Right, have your cup of coffee. Wake up and see that. Make you want to go back to bed, wouldn't it? Beautiful. And there's some beautiful homes up here. Some homes newly acquired and some new that have just been here forever. Is that considered buddy you have to get down to the beach? <laughs> Take me home the camera? Yeah. Huh? Maybe. Is that a consider butter and yam? Not really? No. I suppose I had to get my shorts on. <laughs> uh -huh. Good for laughing. And... I used to hang chickens for a living and I know where white legs come from. Uh -huh. White chickens. This is the, the wharf again. This is the different side. Yeah. We're able to get out now. Just gotta follow them. Movies there, the lights, whatever. 
when we were on the way out. There's only a small area to get in and out on that. You could flop your boat up on the mud pretty quick. This guy checking things out. There was a there was a man that lived there. He did a roof chopping. I did a roof chopping thing quite a long time ago. I mean, it's quite a long time ago. I just did a roof chopping thing. It's probably probably been ten years now. Maybe I'm not sure. It's been quite a long time ago when I first did that. And there was a man there that come to the chop of course. I didn't know who he was or anything like that. But after I heard I heard he I heard he won the, the lottery. Not sure if he's still there anymore or not. Don't know his name, but he won the lottery. I'm gonna take a different route on the way home. Well, let's do this little route here, this little dirt road. We used to pick a get this we used to get a lot of blackberries. There used to be a blackberry patch on the corner. And uh, I think everybody that wanted blackberry jam showed up. <laughs> I would I would bike this road all the time as a young person. All the time. It's just a shorter way that Med we're going to Medford. This is Blomidon. This would be a shorter way to get there. Or a short route. Uh, if we kept going on the straight that we were going on to, we would have went right back up by the church where I seen many weddings, and then right back pretty well to our to our house. Uh, this way here, I'm cutting across and going into Medford. Just another back door to our house. Maybe I shouldn't be giving that information out. But we've got Fina. She will detect you. Uh, A lot of boats used to come in here. Oh. Uh, this makes an old car feel like an old car right here. Just come down here quite a bit. Right here on the right hand side. Uh, that was just packed in blackberries. Like you go in there, man, they're just kind of like I think the saplings have taken over. This is a nice little route, isn't it? Huh? We're not in the back streets of uh, New York now, are we? Nova Scotia. Remember that dirt road we took back then? down this road and back. But hey, we're giving them more than they're asking for. This might be one of the prettiest farms that we have around. On the, Coming up right here on the left hand side. Um, might be one of the prettier farms around. And if I haven't seen your farm, I'm sorry. But um, this is like one of the prettier farms. I used to work here as a, a young person. Hang. But um, the Sarsfields own it now. Uh, it's mainly orchards now. Um, if you've ever eaten a, a baby pie, like a small six inch pie of any kind, uh, these people here are, invented it, the Sarsfields. And uh, that's what they do. They own Eden Valley, I think it's called. Is it Eden Valley? Apple Valley? Apple Valley, probably. Apple Valley, Eden Valley's chicken thing. Apple Valley, and then they started the Sarsfield Pies also, which I'm not sure what's going on with that. I have no idea. But, um, and this is also, would be Sarsfields up here. Which is absolutely, it's always been beautiful up in here in my brain. Say a beautiful modest home. I like I like the garage on the on the side of it. it. Looks really nice. It's got that. It's got that nice feel, I guess. I'm gonna turn this bad boy around. We're gonna get the other. No, I'm not going that way. The car stalled.
We're just gonna take the block around. I've got y'all messed up now, I know that. But we're not far from home. This would be a small, I don't know if you can even call it a community, a small place where I grew up is Medford. This is it. Like I said, I used to hay for that farm back there as a young person. This is a cranberry bog. Cranberries, they float in water, I think, and they come to the top. It's cranberry bog. Kind of a different, odd thing. So there's, that's all water on that side. Not very far, you were looking at it from Blomin. Basically, more apple orchards. I picked in there many of years after school, picking apples. Helped paint a HUD house over once or twice here. Bicycle this road more times than I want to remember. <laughs> oh boy. Nice big beautiful home going over there. Just pick a lot of strawberries in there. They had a couple old cars in there. I'm not sure where they ever went. I'm, I'm sure they still have them. Um, they had a 40, 41 Chev truck. And they had a 36 Ford, four-door, I think. And they were both repaired, like they were both fixed up in, their, in, that, in that era that I remember. I'm not sure what they look like now, but they were fixed up at one time. I, Acquired about them a couple times, but I, I don't think they're available. You can see on this side, you can see, well, when, when the trees disappear, you still can see water. Like, it's not very far, then you, you have water. When pl places get flooded on the news, it sure does make you think. Uh, we live surrounded in water. Makes you think. A bunch of cottages out there and homes out there, they're right on the water. Uh, they had an issue a few years back where they had to move all them places back 50 feet or 100 feet from the bank because they were going to fall over. And uh, that's what they did. They moved them all back because the land keeps eroding. There's a beautiful mural on this barn up here. It's beautiful. Be industrious that you may live. And it's got a big picture of Harrow's. Keep her running, Hiltzy. Okay, buddy. Ooh. Uh. Li lived in Kingsport also. 
this road here would take you down to all them cottages. I think you can even rent cottages down there if you wanted to. This little community here, I've biked around it, thrown rocks at cars, stuff like that when I was younger. Just, just little peddly stuff. Remember I caught... <laughs> yep, traveled this little block here many times. Grandmother lived here, my other grandmother lived here. Um, it was a small community. This place here, this lady here is probably famous in the world for making people feel better. What? Osteopath. Osteopath. Here's a little beach here. Kingsport. Huh? Wharf there I grew up in. Diving off of and jumping off of and that sort of stuff. I lived quite a few years of my life here in Kingsport. I lurked for this lady here many years mowing her lawn, picking her weeds and doing whatever. This is Kingsport. I had actually lived here on the corner at one time. Uh, the little house being built right there used to be a service station. I lived in the service station for a while. Owned a home out here on the water. Show it to you. It's on, it's on the left hand side here. My father owned it first, and then I bought it from him, and then now somebody else owned it. Uh, you can see the water, the last house out there, the little brown house with the white windows. Uh, the water comes up around it every year. Um, the tide's quite high right now. And uh, every year I'd have to spend money and put rocks over the bank. It's just, I wanted to buy tires. <laughs> not rocks and I, I lived in Kingsport most of my life so I swallowed enough salt water to say I had enough if you know what I'm trying to say so when it was time to leave Kingsport it, was, it wasn't a sad day I, I lived there all my life so you kind of take it for granted a lot of people would probably kill for a place like that on the water being surrounded by water and, and uh, but it is what it is you move on now we got two branches. I stay inside those. So the water's up fairly high. Like it, I've seen it higher, that's for sure. Welcome to Kingsport. This house was built quite a long time, probably 30 years ago, probably. And they, that, all them trees around the house was just little tiny deer, you know, just little tiny trees, yearlings or whatever they were called. And I hope he didn't block his view. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope he didn't block his view. Probably not the best place to pour over, but you have to, you have to, right? on this side um, have not been there yet but we're going yeah we're going and we're probably five minutes away from the house so we just crossed into a different little community and uh, we're making a loop.
Huh? Me too. It's hot in here. It is. Joanne looks like Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> huh? She's shiny. She's shiny. Stay in there. Our local firearm store. with the back and jumps up. Makes a noise. Got a little park down over there. Look at that now. What'd you pick up the park? People? I don't even know what's going on in our own community, sweetheart. Yeah. I can tell you one thing. The old liquor store will be full. One baby. Yeah. Our liquor store is probably one of the best because it's always, he's always open. He's always open. Got her in high gear, baby. We're gonna take her up over the hill. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Sounds good. Gold punch power. Just huh? enough. What's that? Just enough. You said it, baby. Just enough. Keep her, keep her, that her girl. I was thinking keeping her on your side of the road. working in the good man I'll tell you they come here and they work they work some hard don't they yeah. I gotta give them a hats off to them because they work hard they work Saturdays they work when it's raining they work hard man I think we're gonna have to take a piece of advice from them and uh, not a piece of advice but just a little bit of you know what I'm saying. We're back home. So we just did a little loop from our house just to show you how beautiful Nova Scotia is. Um, that's gonna be our that's gonna be our first ride around, I guess. And uh, we'll do it again. We'll just try to do somewhere else because it's actually gorgeous everywhere around here. There's water everywhere. There's greenery everywhere. There's good people. There's wineries. There's golf courses. There's... You come <laughs> back tomorrow and you'll see. <laughs> thanks everybody for coming back. Appreciate it. Like, comment. Um, thanks for going for the ride.